Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an invoice where you can pull customer details, products into an invoice and also have the invoice automatically adding up the totals. So as you can see on the screen, I already have uh, an item, advanced access, quantity to one price and the VAT and the total there. And at the bottom, the totals are being added up. And then I've got a customer here. So if I just get rid of this customer and select a different customer. So that was Dave Brown. Let's go for Dave Smith, different customer. And let's get a different course. So I'll click on this one, select a different course, intermediate access. And let's do another one. So if I just copy this one down onto a second line, just use my control key to copy that down and then change that course to something else. Intermediate Excel. So there's one of those. The price for that is also 250. I should put the zeros at the end of those to, to make it nice and neat. Now everything else should automatically update. So if I do control A to select everything and then the F9 function key to update fields, you can see the prices come in, the VAT came in and the total came in and then down the bottom it picked up the totals. So how have I done all of this? Basically what I'm using is the, the auto text feature for customers and courses and then just calculated fields in the table itself for the sums. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new document and then what you do before I do that, you'd save this as a template with it, with it all cleared off and then you just open it and you'd better use that invoice and you can add as many customers to this as you wish. There is no limit uh, other than the size of the file itself. Uh, and that is quite big. So it's quite a lot of auto text entries you could do. Now this is a word um, example. Obviously if you've got Excel, you've got far more scope, but I'm doing word. So that's what we're doing. Now, if I get a blank document and just start from scratch. So basically the first thing is to create yourself a little table. Just, um, drop a few in there and then just make a space so you can do your invoice number and date and time or date so i inserted a date from the insert tab date and time and i formatted it as that so obviously that's now too tight so i'll just make that a bit wider not too wide and then what I needed to do in here is merge these two, merge them into one. So going into the merge cell, merge that into one. And the first thing I did was insert a building block control from the developer tab where you've got um, building block and you can um, add auto text ent entries into there. But before I do that, you need to add your auto text entries. So to do that, I'll show you. I've got a document open here. Now these are already in. So if I just type uh, another customer, so if I say Mrs. Carol Jones, one red road leads, L E one two R T, um, West Yorkshire. Got that the wrong way around, but it doesn't matter. Then all you do is make sure that's correct, otherwise it'll come out wrong. You highlight this, you go up to the insert tab, you go to the quick parts option, the auto text option, and then you can see you can save that selection to the auto text gallery. Now it's on general, but I've created a category, create new category called courses and customers. So this is customer and that's how you do that. And then for courses, same thing, introduction to PowerPoint, you highlight it, quick parts, auto text, save selection, and then you put that into the gallery that you've created, courses. So that's how you do that. And then if I go back to the other document where the table is, you can now use from the developer tab and if you haven't got the developer tab you need to go file options custom ribbon tick the developer tab there 
so it's already on so now on there you've got this option where you can click and it will drop that in it says quick parts at the top you need to change that so go into properties then you can change that to the the one you want which is that one auto text and then the category you want for this one is customers click OK and now when you drop that it will drop a customer in there and the one that we just added at the bottom was Carol Jones so I'll put that one in now the same thing applies for courses so you need to do another building block go into properties change that to auto text select the courses category and then you'll have the list of all your courses there now in terms of the the um i'll probably put that in the wrong bit actually pull that down a bit because i need to do a title here so this is going to be um item um quantity price price and then we'll have vat and total vat and total now i won't repeat every single thing all the way down i'll just do the bits um, a few a few lines so you get the idea so quantity is just going to be typed the price is also just going to be typed but the vat needs to be looking at this to do a formula and so does the total the total needs to be adding these two together so how this works is as same as excel really I'm just going to merge these two actually. I don't need those like that. I'll probably miss something out, but it doesn't matter. So I merge that and right, we'll do this back to this one. So this works like an Excel table, even though it doesn't tell you that that is column A, that is column B, not all of it, this bit. This is column C. So the price column is column C. So if I want to work out the VAT, I need to look at C1, 2, 3. Now this is nowhere as dynamic as Excel, but as I've already said, we're doing Word, so we have to put up with what Word um, gives us. So from the Formulas tab, so I'm on the table layout, from the Formulas tab, you can go equals, so C3 times 0.2, that'll give you the 20%. And then you're gonna set the format to be pounds, and then you can click okay to that. And then the total is going to be a formula which is just going to be equals, in this case, D3, wrong, C3, plus D3. Again, the format needs to be as the same. So if I put a quantity in, if I put a product in there first off, let's say in that one, quantity one, price £250, and then we don't type anything in here, we need to update this with the F9 key. So if I do Control A, which will highlight the whole thing, and then FN, F9, that will put those in. So we know that's going to work. So that's great. Now um, I need to widen this a little bit, I think, for the courses. I'm going to copy this one down to the next line and just change that to a different course, come down a little bit. Excel Intermediate, one. Well, let's go for, um, no, I'll just go for one. Obviously, if the price is for just one item, you could put a formula in the price column. Um, otherwise, you're typing that out, but not for now. So I'll just type it out, 250. And then this now needs to be copied down, but it's not like Excel where it would automatically change. What you have to do is highlight it, copy it, paste it, and then same with this one, this needs to come down, highlight, copy, paste. And then we need to change the cell references. So if I highlight it and make sure you get it all, back to the layout tab and then formulas. So this now needs to be C4. Everything else can stay the same. And this one needs to be changed as well. This needs to be c4 and d4 and you'd have to do this all the way down but you don't have to do it once because then you'd save this as a template and it would automatically update so if i just did change this actually to two and change that to 500 
500, do the control A and the F9 key. Okay, then you need to make a bit of space there so you can fit that in. Probably bring this one back a little bit. Now, obviously, this is what you're going to do all the way down. And at the bottom, you need to do some sums. So at the moment, I've just got a few rows, but whatever row numbers there are, you would have to make sure the sums pick that up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So from there, formula, not sum above, because it would go all the way up. So it's just going to be, let's just do it getting between there. So it's going to be, B, column B, 3, B3, to B5. That's what it shouldn't going to be. It's not a number format. It's just to leave that as, as it is. And then it adds it up. And then this one is going to be the same. But the format's going to change. So I can copy that, paste that in there. And then just adjust that to be in pounds and change the the labels across to C and C and change that to pounds like so 750 is correct so then we can do the same all the way across so copy and paste and paste and then just adjust those two references so this will be the next one along which is going to be D D and D, okay to that one, and then that one's going to be, and this one's going to be that times that C and D. So it's going to be some, not up, well I could go up I suppose, it should be the same both ways so I will do. So it's going to be E. E. Okay, so 900, and if you add those two together, that's 900 as well. So that's correct. That's correct. All right, so then what you do is you, if you delete these courses, delete, but not the actual controls, delete. You could actually delete that control because you can just copy that down. if you need it again. So all this information needs to be just deleted, but not the formulas. So just delete these courses. And then if I do control A and F9 again, that should clear everything off to zero. You can't see this, but it's still there. I'm going to get rid of this person, but leave the control there. The date can stay there. And now this, I could change this. If I go back to the developer tab, and click on design mode, you can change this to be um, whatever you want really. Select our course. Um, oh, that's quite big actually, just change that to courses. That's better. Come out of design mode. So it just says courses now, and when you click away, that's all you can see. So that's what you would copy. You click on it, you get the three little dots, you copy it down. So this is ready to save as a template. So now you go uh, file, save, save as, not a document, a document template, and call it invoice, and then save. Now that should now be available for you to pull over anytime you want it. Now you could also have added your logo at the top like I did in the one I showed you and the, your details at the bottom. If I go file new, first of all, it'll be in personal. There it is invoice. And then I can just open one ready to go. It's called document seven. So you just save this as whatever. Now obviously there would be some sort of need to know what numbers next. That's something in a different time. So let's do a course, let's do one, 
let's do the price at 250 let's do control a let's do f9 and it works out for us who's doing it let's select a customer there you go and that's how you can do an invoice in word now just a thing there look the font the font my default uh, font is Tahoma, but when I did the auto text, it was Calibra. So you just need to watch out for that. Uh, otherwise, everything is, is okay. And that's how you do an invoice in Word using some automated features. So thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.